Hey everyone, I recently made a video showing you all kinds of different ways to capture your screen on Mac and another video on PC. But one of the tools that I really, really like and I wanted to make a dedicated video about is called Loom. And what's great about Loom is you could capture your screen with a bunch of simple options that you could utilize, including using an external microphone, for example. But you could also turn on your webcam and kind of have a picture-in-picture -picture effect. Now, what's nice about it is that it doesn't just capture your screen and save it to your computer and then you gotta figure out how to upload it to YouTube, share that link, all kinds of stuff that makes the whole process messy. With Loom, it automatically puts it on their platform and then it just gives you a link to share. So a lot of times when people ask me technical questions, what I need to do is I need to capture my screen and walk them through what they need to do. And I use Loom a lot of times, especially working with my team members where I record the screen, my face is there, the audio is clear because I use an external mic that I'm going to mention to you. And I just create easy to follow demonstrations for my team members for our internal use. And I use this to help people with their technical questions too. So let's jump in and use Loom and I'll walk you through the whole process. So I just switched over to this microphone that I use for my screen recordings and the website is called loom.com and I'll put a link in the description to it and go ahead and create a free account here. I already have one, so let me log in. And typically if you use the free account, here's my test account here, all you need to do is you just come over here to create a new video and I'll walk you through how to do that properly. Let me press that and I wanna record a video. This also lets you upload existing videos. So for your team, if you're using this for work, you could basically use this as your video library, right? This is similar to Vimeo or to YouTube as far as that goes. But I'm gonna record a video in this case and I need a Chrome extension, okay? This is how this is done with a Chrome extension. So let me go to the Chrome extension store and you should use Chrome as your browser here to make this easier. Now I have a Chrome extension. Let me just press this to make sure I pin this right here. So I'm gonna pin my Chrome extension right on top. It should look like this now once you pin it. And now what I have to do is if I select this option right here, I'm gonna give it access to my camera, so I'm gonna allow that, and I'm gonna give it access to my microphone. And you see I popped up right here in the corner. So this mic I'm using actually to record this video, it sounds this good because it's an external microphone. So I'll put a link to this microphone in the description below. So you could actually pick one up to get this kind of quality sound. But by default, if you look over here, it's not on that microphone, it's internal microphone. So I do need to change this to the Shure MV7. Now I'm using this to record, so I'm not gonna interfere with that, but typically you would change that here and not use your internal microphone. It doesn't sound very good. Then for your camera too, if you have other cameras that are better than the uh, kind of the built-in webcam, you could go ahead and change that over here. Then I wanna record the screen and camera, but you could do screen only. You don't have to have your picture in here if you don't want, or you could just change it to another photo. I'm gonna actually turn it on and use my webcam here. So my webcam's activated, this is activated. Next, I could actually decide what I'm recording. Do I wanna do the full desktop? For a lot of the things that I do, I do need the full desktop. I wanna show you everything, including settings, but sometimes you just wanna capture a Chrome tab, you choose this option. Now, some of the advanced options that you have is you could actually include the audio of whatever tab you're sharing. So if you're sharing a video, Make sure this is on. By default, all of these are on. You could flip the camera so you could see what that's doing in the corner here. You could go ahead and use a photo for screen only. And these are basically options that you should keep on. So I usually don't do anything there. All the defaults are good, but you can turn them off. Then I press start recording right here. It gives me a countdown. And just like this, whatever I say and whatever I show on screen is gonna get recorded, including my webcam all at the same time. And you could see down here, it's gonna give you a counter. It's gonna let you finish the recording anytime by pressing the check mark. And you could pause it or cancel the recording too. Okay, so this is my whole screen. Whenever I'm done, I'm gonna press the check mark. Now, this is my favorite part about this, what happens right here. Usually, with other platforms, it saves it to your computer. Then you have to figure out how to get it online, how to edit it. Look at this. This gives you an option to review the transcript that automatically gets created. How crazy is that? You also could trim your video. You could add a call to action or a thumbnail. 
look at this this is my <laughs> this is my transcription i could just copy and paste this and send it to someone if they just needed the transcription the trim in the video is really awesome because you could actually start trimming and take out different sections of the video so if i wanted to remove this little section right here i could just press remove and it removed the first two seconds of the video for me let me return back here the call to action you could literally have a call to action but on top of your video this is incredible almost no other platform lets you do something this advanced okay and when you're happy with your video okay let me just remove the call to action i don't need it here when you're happy with your video you could play it back at multiple different speeds if you want to just fast forward through it at 2x you could do that and let's say i'm happy i'll just have to press copy the video link email it or just press share from here and i could go ahead and even embed it or share it on social media from here and anytime someone clicks on there they could come in here and download that video locally to their computer or you could do it to yours if you created the video you could have a backup outside of loom on your computer as well you could have people collaborate on this with invite to edit option that's here and you could create folders and really organize things here or make things a favorite by using stars now this is just a video recording of loom now loom is also a video hosting website to organize all your projects but i love this quick screen capture that lets me capture the screen have all these advanced options one of my favorites being reviewing the transcript quickly editing it sending it to team members doing tech support this way is one of the greatest things you could use this for probably the best tool out there for it and that's your brief overview of using loom to capture your screen with a ton of advanced options on top of that so i hope you found this useful if you do please give this video a thumbs up i post easy to follow tech videos just like this one every single day and i'll see you next time